G'day guys, welcome to another episode of Prado 120, of, uh, welcome to another episode of Off-Road Crusader. This episode I'm just going to be going through a quick little review of my gas stove that I use. It's a Coleman Even Temp. I'm really, really happy with it and I want to do a review and show you some things I like about it, so I'll grab it out for you. And that's how quick and easy it is to set up. So yeah, come a bit closer and I'll show you some things I really like about it. So this is the stove. I just wanted to show you what's included when you open it all up. So once it's opened up, you've got these side wings lift up and kind of lock into position. On top here, this is the hot plate. It's got a nice little bag it kind of sits in. And then you have the stove itself. So underneath here, there's a, a fat drip tray that you don't have to use. And this is your little gas regulator that goes onto the side there. So I'll show you that one in a sec. But essentially, this hot plate. So this is a heavy-duty aluminium hot plate. Ours has seen a fair bit of use. You can probably see it on there, but that just sits on. So it's got these little grooves in here, and they marry up to certain spots on this grill. So just kind of eventually, you know, know exactly where it needs to go. But that lines up there, and then your drip tray will sit like so, and away you go. So if you're doing sausages or steaks or heavy fat stuff that's always good I don't always use that though now this one here so this brass end screws into the side of the stove and then you'll have your gas bottle on the side of that so I'll just screw that in now with this stove you can either use it with LPG gas um, like a gas bottle as you normally would or you can also use the propane gas canisters that common supply as well there's another brand that do these but I'd choose the common ones simply because the threads on these are stronger um, the aftermarket ones, the threads on the on the top of this is, is rubbish and they strip this out and they strip the regulator out and it just causes problems so I keep with them, got a little plastic cover on the top they simply screw onto the regulator and now we're all good to go and that's pretty much the stove all set up so now we're all ready to cook if we wanted to or boil the kettle um, I'm going to make myself a cuppa and I thought no the missus is probably wanting one so um, I'll get the kettle on and um, yeah we'll talk a bit more about it There's my beautiful wife, sitting there in the sun, and your little baby boy. How's he all going? Sleepy. Hey, Coda. Very sleepy. There's your cover. Thank you. No problem. That's better. I can actually have a chat now. I've got a cover in my hand. <laughs> Um, so this stove here, um, I've owned it for about seven years now. Um, I bought it as an upgrade from an old butane, one of those cheapo kind of um, styled stoves. We had a lot of issues with gas escaping and then ignition not working and then booms and wasn't very ideal, <laughs> especially for going out camping with the missus. Um, you don't want explosions because they tend not to like those sorts of things. Um, it's got a few dings and scratches in it just because of wear and tear, but overall it still functions exactly how it did when I first bought it. So what, some of the things I really like about it, I like having the three burners on there. So having the three burners means that I can adjust the heat on it really easily. Having the hot plate there as well um, just means that you know you can you can use the full griddle or half of it or a quarter of it or whatever you'd like to do. Um, the, having the regulator, which is on the actual well, the arm coming off the stove, means that you do actually do, it can um, have a lot more control over the gas flow. Um, it doesn't sound like a lot, but some stoves you use, especially camping ones, they're so fixated on producing a lot of heat and beating, you know, having a bit of wind around, that when you want to just, you know, put a pan on and simmer it, you can't because the heat's cranked all the way up and you then you turn it down, turn it down, and then it just turns off. So 
something I really like about this stove is I can turn the heat right down and just simmer things. I know with the other Coleman stove um, called the Fire Knight, um, that one there is designed to work in the heat, doesn't have a, uh, in the wind, it doesn't have a windshield or anything on it, but those ones you can't turn them right down and get a really low heat on them, so uh, definitely a massive uh, big bonus here for the even temp. The other thing I mentioned before is the hot plate. Now it doesn't sound like a massive thing to have a hot plate, especially with a camping stove, but it's so handy. Um, it's just quick, it's easy, um, means things like you know cooking sausages or bacon and eggs in the morning or pancakes or whatever you'd like is so much quicker and easier because you do just throw a hot plate on and the way you go the hot plate all packs away into the stove um, I make sure whenever I'm cooking stuff on it I use lots of oil and that sort of stuff um, or uh, non-stick so that that way when I'm done I do just wipe it down with a um, with some paper towel and then I just put it back in the bag and away you go kind of seasons it I, I guess you could kind of call it that um, but yeah really really like the hot plate on it the other big benefit I'll talk about is the fact that you can run them off of propane uh, so these little propane canisters are obviously a lot easier to buy and store especially if you want to bring a few for you going, going away for a long trip or something like that you don't have to worry about you know um, gas bottle holders on the back of the car or storing it on the roof or anything like that obviously you wouldn't store like a, an LPG gas bottle in the car in the cab while everyone's there because you've got the risk of, um, of fumes and asphyxiation and all that sort of fun stuff so the propane canisters are a massive big uh, benefit in my in my book um, you can run them on LPG uh, on the back here um, that little fitting there you do when you buy one of these you get a hose it attaches onto the back of there and you can run that off into your normal pole fitting um, for an LPG gas bottle so it is possible to use them like normal but I personally never I've never used it like that and I prefer to have these canisters for the sort of camping and stuff that we do especially if it's touring on the road for a week or two at a time Personally, I found that even having breakfast, lunch, and dinner, one of these canisters lasts us about a week. And really, for about ten or twelve dollars of what they're worth for amount of gas to last you a week, it's really awesome. Um, so yeah, massive big thumbs up for that one there. So now I've talked about all the things I do like about this stove. Here's a few little things that I don't quite like. Um, everything's got its down points, um, and this stove is no exception. There's not a huge amount, but I do have to pick out a few things. So when you latch the the stove closed it's got this little plastic uh, almost like a spring loaded kind of latch that comes down and meets up with this sometimes it doesn't want to meet up um, and sometimes it doesn't want to stay closed I think that could definitely be an improvement if Coleman if you're watching because obviously you watch me because I'm such a famous youtuber um, that would definitely be something to improve on just having some sort of secure latching system to make sure it can't just spring open uh, when you're carrying it around the other thing as well is because everything is stored inside the stove when you pack it away when it's in the car and you're doing four wheel driving, it does rattle. You can hear things moving around inside of it. It's a big tin container. Anything in there is going to rattle and cause a bit of a noise. So um, I think there might be some way to kind of insulate that a bit, a little bit better. One thing that I did to try and beat that was I went and bought the um, Coleman branded uh, carry case or transit bag, which is designed for this stove. Um, I'd put it off for a little while because it was about 45 bucks or something like that. Um, but I yeah, eventually bit the bullet for yeah let's try it out and hopefully that can kind of insulate it a little bit more and reduce the um, the sound as well the bag itself comes with ends where you can store your gas canisters I only use one of those um, storage spots otherwise it's too long and it doesn't fit in the back of the car with my setup um, but it's good to have the option there the bag itself I would tell you don't go, don't bother going out and buying it um, it's a hassle to try and get it on the stove it's nice to have, have it kind of all neat and wrapped away and, and it's not going to get dusty but the effort it takes to get it in the bag and then to get it back out again just because of the feet um, isn't really worth it. The other thing with the bag as well is on the base, so when you usually stand the stove up, um, so you have a handle up the top and at the base there's the bottom of the stove has these steel hinges on the back. Once it's closed they form a bit of like a, I suppose a sharp edge. They have worn through the bag within about two trips. So the bag itself isn't designed for those hinges to be rubbing on the ground, which is really annoying. So the bag itself, don't worry about it, save your money, um, buy four extra little propane canisters and go and have fun. So given what I've talked about with this stove, how do I rate it? Um, I really like it. I think this is one of the best stoves you can get. Um, the physical size of it and those few little niggles I just went through are obviously a drawback but I'm yet to find a stove which doesn't have those and still has all the benefits that this stove has. So 
I really like it and when people ask me what sort of stove should I get, I definitely recommend these. So on my completely arbitrary scale, um, I rate this stove a big, big, big four and a half out of five. It's a really great product and um, yeah, I'd be more than happy to have a new one. But my question to you is what would you rate it? Do you have a stove like this or do you have a similar one? Do you have a different brand? Do you prefer just cooking over the fire like good old Mr. Harry Fisher? Um, or do you like having a gas stove so you don't have to make a, a fire when it's pouring down with rain and have a you know wet soggy cup of tea? What do you reckon? Let me know down in the comments um, if you like this review, what sort of stove you have. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. I'm really interested to hear about it and see what else is out there. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you next time on Off-Road Crusader. See you guys.